This video is brought to you by the following sponsors. We have this bad boy now. Yeah. Go here to get it. It's pretty cool. They got other stuff too. So yeah, onto the video. Time to wake up. Gotta tackle the day. Mm -hmm. Go away. I'm trying to sleep. Come on. You've been sleeping the whole morning away. You gotta get some breakfast in you and start moving around. 
You can do that. I'm sleeping in. Hmm. All right. If you won't wake up on your own, then I guess I'll help you. No! What the fuck? See? That helped you wake up, now didn't it? If I wasn't still sleepy, I would beat you to a pulp. Come on, don't be like that. Besides, when was the last time you were woken up with gusto and randomness? <laughs> alright, alright, that's fair. Now get off of me before Blitz decides to- Good morning, Luna! How's my favorite hellhound doing? How many times do I have to tell you to stop barging into my room? Fucking knock, why don't you? <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. Just wanted to make sure you were all right this morning. I made some breakfast for you, so come eat when you're ready, okay? Daddy is gonna take a shower, all right? Ugh, fine, whatever. Just get out of here so I can get dressed. I think he's gone. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck. That was close. A second later and he would have spotted me. I'm glad I heard him in time. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can get off of me now, Zack. Also, your hand is on my, uh... Huh? Uh-oh! Uh, uh, sorry! Um, I'm gonna go back into the living room, and if he comes out before you do, I'll just make it seem like you let me in. Uh, sound good? Sounds good to me. Now get moving so I can change. Got it. See you out there. <laughs> he heard blitz? Are the walls really that thin, or is it because... No. <sighs> Fuck. Seriously, Zack, you can stop cooking for us already. We ate enough. One piece of toast is not enough for a balanced meal. You all need to be able to eat a good amount before anything else. Didn't take you for a stickler when it came to food. It's at least a nice change of pace. Most of the time you just eat cereal or something like that. Zach, you gotta teach me how to make those pancakes! They're absolutely delicious! I can give you the recipe, sure. It's not too difficult to make, so don't worry. Alright, dig in, everyone! Really little good. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Now I'm kind of glad we didn't go through with the hit. Would have been a shame if I could taste this shit. <laughs> uh, uh. That reminds me, wouldn't you guys get in trouble if you didn't go through with the hit? It couldn't be too good for your business's image if it got out that you failed to kill someone. Pretty sure it doesn't matter at this point. Dude ended up wiring the cash to us the day they gave us the job. Huh, that's odd. Uh, but wait, didn't you guys see them at least once since talking with them? I mean, you had to have, if they hired you. Well, that's the weird thing. When we actually made the agreement, it wasn't face to face. It was over the phone. They faxed over a photo of you, wired the cash to us, and told us to go ham. I see. Did you at least get a description of the voice? Like whether they were male or female? To be honest, no. If I remember correctly, the buyer's voice almost sounded like both. Like two voices going at the same time. Hmm, well that figures. So they tried to keep themselves discreet. This mystery culprit is definitely no slouch when it comes to this line of work, then. There must be a reason why they kept themselves hidden. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about that too much now. What we really should be worried about is where to investigate next. I think I have an idea on that. Wait, you do? Mm-hmm. I did some digging, and with the help of Octavia, I was able to find out some more information on another one of the victims that our kitsune mask wearing assailants killed. Turns out, a dude named Larry Garth was killed by one of them not too long ago. I checked on his Voxtagram account, too. Turns out, he follows somebody by the name of Laura Garth. Now, I'm not sure who she is, but I have a strong suspicion that she is some sort of family member. Possibly a wife, or hell, a sister. And you think she could know something? Positive. She and her brother were close. 
I could tell by the photos on her Voxagram page. All we have to do is walk into her job and start questioning her. Well, great! We can head there now, then! If that's the case, then let's hurry up and finish breakfast. We have a whole lot of work to do today, so we don't want to dilly-dally. This is the breakthrough that we needed. If we can find this Laura Garth person, there's a chance we may be able to find the Yakuza people, too. However, there's no telling whether or not she's still going to be around. So whatever happens, we're going to have to be on our toes. You sure this is the place? Seems a little bit... I don't know. Fucky. Yeah, no doubt about it. Miss Garth definitely works here. It was the last thing she posted on her Voxtagram account. True, but that was at least a few months ago. She's gone silent ever since. Speaking of which, can't you just sniff her out? I mean, you are a hellhound, so you gotta have some pretty good sniffing skills. As much as I would love to smell some bimbo, I would need to know what smell I'm looking for. Doesn't mean much if I'm just finding any old random thing she has and taking a whiff. We'd be going in circles at that point. Uh, that's fair. If I had something she owned, I could use my magnifying glass to follow the trail. But since we don't have that, we're gonna have to do some old-fashioned legwork. And that legwork has taken us where? Some photography kink place. You rent a camera and take pictures of the weirdos working there. If you're lucky, they may even let you touch. Oh, you've been here before? Fuck no, I did some research of my own on the place. So, we basically just have to go inside and start questioning, right? Exactly! So, since we have a plan, all Zack has to do is get in there and do his thing. Uh... uh wait, what? Whoa, 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 no, 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 I, I, I do not do good in places like that. Why? It's just photography. Did you not hear the last part? You know, the kink part? What if someone in there wants to take me to the bedroom? I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that. Right? Well, usually it's succubi and incubi that work in shitholes like this, and they're usually able to tell when there's a human soul in their midst. Those freaks love human souls. Succubi? What do you mean, succubi? Why is he saying succubi, Luna? Cool it before you pop a blood vessel. Look, all you gotta do is just go in, ask if she's there, then question her. It's not that big a deal. <sighs> and you're saying that I'll be perfectly fine? Ugh, if you don't show any interest in them, they're prone to just let you go. Just keep it in your pants, alright? I'm fairly certain I won't have an issue with that. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, right! That's what all the virgins say! Just wait until you get your first opportunity! Your hormones will run your body ragged! Okay, okay. I got this. I can do this. Hey, Zack. Hmm? You got this. Be careful in there. And if anything happens, give a shout. I'll hear ya. Will do. I'll get that info lickety split. Just watch. Um, did you just refer to him by his name? Uh, uh, well, so what? I can call someone by their name if I want to. Not a problem, per se. It's just, you usually call him some insult. Jeez, get off my back, fatty. Hmm, interesting. <sighs> okay, I've entered the place. That's basically half the battle right there. Now, where's that front desk? Place is eerily quiet. I guess people would rather bone than take pictures. Actually, now that I think about it, does anyone even really like this sort of thing? It seems like kind of a niche interest, but hey, I'm not gonna yuck someone's yum. Um, hello? Anyone back there? Um, hello. Down here. Huh? Oh, there you are. Um, what exactly are you doing down there? I'm hiding from your punk asses. Last group of guys that came in, 
They fucked up the place! Last group of guys? What do you mean? Hey, don't be playing dumb! A few days ago, your buddies came and started breaking shit! Cameras, furniture, my secret stash of videos, all of it! And when did this happen? How many days ago? It was three days ago. They were trying to find that chick that used to work here for a few months back. Laura Garth? Eh? Laura? Oh yeah, that was her name. I usually just call her Knockers. Her tits are so big that when she whips them around, <laughs> them things will knock you out. Uh, well, at least he remembers her, I guess. So, these guys were after Miss Garth. Did they say anything else? Well, apart from the fact that they were talking shit about my place of business, uh, not much. Hmm. Well, do you by any chance know where Miss Garth is? Not completely. All I know is that she ended up going to work somewhere else around three weeks ago. Seemed really spooked about something. Now, do I know where she went? No. All I heard was that it was some big name place. If I was her, I would be working at some place that would keep me safe. Especially if I was being hunted down by punks like them. A safe place, huh? Hmm, that could actually be of some use. You have a fair point. And you're sure that you don't have any clues where Miss Garth can be? I ain't got no idea where that broad went. Don't know, don't wanna know. But down there is the reason my shop got trashed, and now no one is dumb enough to wanna walk here. No workers means no tits, and no tits means no customers. You see? Uh, yeah, I see your dilemma. Um, maybe try rebranding into something more interesting? I don't know, this is kind of out of my field of expertise. Regardless, you should be fine. My advice to you is to keep a low profile. Last thing you'll want is to get yourself into trouble with these guys. You think I don't know that kid? I haven't left this building since they've attacked. Those pieces of shit ain't gonna bring me down. Not one bit. Huh. I actually could tell from the smell, but maybe it's best not to say anything to him about that. Well, in any case, thanks for the help. Stay safe, alright? Yeah, yeah, just tell your friends to fuck off, got it? And that's what he said. Seems like he's in the dark about this as much as we are. So, Miss Garth ended up the moosing from this place and went to work somewhere else? Seems to me like she was aware of those Yakuza guys coming after her. I agree. It just seems too much of a coincidence for her to just disappear right when the Akuma Ningen had the idea to find her, even if it was around a month in advance. My guess is that she was tipped off about the hit that was placed on her. Due to that, she ended up leaving where she worked and found herself a new job. Question is, where would that be? It had to be somewhere she could use her, uh, assets, while also being used as a means to keep herself safe from attackers. You know, this could be wrapped up a whole lot quicker if you would use that magnifying glass of yours. Yeah, well, yeah, but I still need something that Miss Garth owned to use it. Can't exactly just whisper her name into the glass and get it to do my bidding now, can I? Um, excuse me? Huh? Who the hell are you? If you're asking one of us to phone, then take a hike! We're kinda on the job here! Uh, that's way far from the truth. Guy, I think I saw one on a commercial or something. See, Box? I told you that commercial would work! One viewer out of millions doesn't equate to a successful ad. You came to us rather confidently. I'm guessing that you overheard us talking, yeah? Well, the ears kind of make it hard for me not to have heard you guys, but yeah, basically. Then I'm guessing that you have some information about Laura Garth, right? Well, yeah, that's right. I knew her a while back, you know? I see. And you can tell us where she could be? Yeah, I could, but first you have to tell me who you are and what you want from her. Last thing I need is for some jackass to be hunting her down for some cheap thrill. Or worse. Calm down. We're not looking for her to kill her. I just need to question her. 
You are right, though. Introductions are in order. I'm Zach. Zach Treble. IMP Private Investigator. These here are my friends, Blitz, Moxie, Millie, and Luna. We're here to try and find Miss Garth for some questioning. And now your name would be... Oh yeah, I'm Sahara. I'm... A Lynx Deer Hybrid. From the way you're dressed and the smell of beer, food, and the slight flicking of your ears, most likely due to them ringing, you just came from a concert. Most likely a metal band of some sort. Also, from the blood stain on your pants, that indicates that you most likely got into a fight of some sort. Which is probably common at concerts here in hell. You seem to use a weapon similar to... maybe some brass knuckles? I could tell from the marks on your hands. Somewhere near the knuckles, just above them, on your fingers. Not to mention that your palms are also slightly calloused, probably from squeezing and clutching them while you're throwing out a punch. How the fuck did you know all that? You told me. Well, your body and tells told me, anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Detective mentality and such. Uh, right. I don't know whether to be impressed or slightly violated. <laughs> I would hope it'd be the former. Anyways, you said you had information. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Hmm, you don't seem like that. Well, at least you do. Not sure about the other four over here. Oh, we're bad all right, sweetheart. If you mean bad with money, then yeah. Blitz is definitely bad all right. Huh? I'll have you know that I am very efficient with my funds. Do we have to remind you again about the ad that barely even worked? Oh, it's okay if you're bad with money, boss. We still love you all the same. Anyway, sure. I'll answer your questions. Just not here. That's perfectly fine. Have someone you'd like to go? We can drive you there. There's this cafe not too far from here. We can chat there. Hey, sounds good to me. I can get myself my usual drink from there, too. If she's coming along, then you're all gonna have to squeeze in. It's gonna be a tight fit. You know, there's one way that we can all sit comfortable. Huh? What exactly are you suggesting? Easy! Someone will have to sit on somebody's lap, of course! Uh, well, yeah, that would work, sure. Well, who would it be? I mean, I could always sit on Moxie's lap, but... Wait, I got it! Luna, why don't you sit on Zack's lap? What? what? Come on! Luna will fit perfectly on your lap, Zack. Besides, she's not super heavy and she's warm to boot! I don't think that her weight is the issue here. There is no way in all of hell that I'm sitting on his lap. I'm not looking to feel that poking at my ass. I agree. Don't give me any reasons to put a bullet in the detective's dick hole. Why are you threatening me? If that's the problem, why not just switch? Have Zack sit in Luna's lap. That's not gonna help at all. Stay in your lane, fatty. I'm not fat, you meth addict mutt. Guys, guys, calm down. Look, let's just accept the fact that Luna and I are not gonna be sitting on each other's laps. As much as it'd be nice to sit on something warm and soft, I'd rather not get shot by a crazed fuck. Uh. So, you admit that you want to sit on her lap? That was just a slip of the tongue! A slip of the tongue. Yeah, right. Uh, she wishes. Shut up, Moxie! Alright, that's it! Enough of these games! We are not doing this! I already know how we're gonna solve this, so listen up! Stupid ideas and a stupid plump ass. <laughs> um, you okay down there, Mox? I hope it's not too uncomfortable for you. I'll live. It's actually kinda comfy though. Let's not make this a habit though, okay? Millie may or may not be too happy with it. Stay Hun, calm down. Stay! Let's just let her be. It's not gonna take too long to get there. <laughs> Zack on my lap, huh? Jeez, whatever. Mm. <clears throat> Don't think.
think about it. Don't think about it. Uh, Zach, you're... Mox, for the love of fuck, don't say it. Uh, right. You sure you don't want us close by? Yeah, we need to make ourselves seem inconspicuous here. You guys spread out and keep an eye on anyone that comes in. Got it. If anyone comes in with the intent to get to you two, we'll nail their ass right then and there. Perfect. Alright everyone, scatter. You want something to drink? My treat. Uh, no, that's alright. I'm not very thirsty. Alright then, if that's the case, I'll have my usual. Alright ma'am, let's get down to business. You said a bit ago that you knew the missing woman, right? A Miss Laura Garth? Yeah, that's right. She's been missing for just about a week, give or take a day or two. I see. This wouldn't have anything to do with the death of a Mr. Larry Garth, right? So you know about her brother? I did some extra digging. Apparently, the man was killed by a specific group, evident by a clue left at the scene of the crime. This mask was left behind. This would be the second time that I've seen this mask being left by the same assailants I've ran into. Hmm. Well, that got a prize out of her. Not only from her body, but her eyes, too. Never knew a lynx deer could produce electrostatic. You know something, right? Maybe about these assholes that are trying to attack your friend? Yeah, I do. These guys, the ones that killed Larry, are after her. No question. Help me out here, then. Why is she being targeted? Did she have any contact with these guys? Maybe worked for them at some point? No. She would never be that stupid. Larry was the one who fucked this up. Tell me, then. What exactly did Mr. Garth do that got him killed? I only know the broad strokes rather than the details, but basically, Larry was a runner, or a scout, if you will. He was paid by these guys to keep tabs on what was going on here in the Lust Ring. From what I heard, he got paid pretty well. He even got tasked with a small hit job in places that he could blend in at. I see. Did Miss Garth know about this? Of course she did. They're twins, after all. Those guys were basically inseparable. She, however, was for damn sure not for it. Not only did he never meet the boss, or even set foot at his hideout or lair or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but he was always cryptic about shit. Not only that, but he even threatened to snuff him out if he failed at And I'm guessing that's what happened. He ended up failing a hit. Yeah. From what I heard, he was ordered to kill Arrakis, a mob boss with a shit ton of bodies on his list. There was no way that Larry was going to be able to take that guy out. Hell, I didn't think anyone could, besides the overlords and everything above them. So he was murdered for his failure. A damn shame. Icarus flew too close to the sun in this one. Let's move on to Laura. What's happened to her? Well, after she found out about Larry's death, she obviously was devastated. Not only that, but she was scared out of her fucking mind. So she quit her job and went into hiding. Is she still there now? Not anymore. She moved a ways away from here. She's still in the lust ring, though. She basically moved closer to her new job. And do you know where her new place of employment is? Sahara, I know you're scared for your friend, but you have to trust me. We both know she's in danger, and these guys are not going to stop targeting her. Not unless me and my friends stop them. And how do I know that you're not working for those fuckers? You could just be posing as detectives to try and find her. That's the thing. There is no way of knowing if I am who I say I am. The only thing you can do is trust me. I can't promise that she's still alive or that I can save her, but I can promise that I will find and stop these guys. You 
You have my word. I'm not usually one to trust easily, but if there's ever a chance that my information can stop those guys, then I'll take it. Finn? She told me where she would be working in case I needed to see her. She's at the very high-end club here. Ozzy's is what it's called. Ozzy's? Yeah. That place is owned by a big wig here in the Lust Ring. No one would be dumb enough to attack her while she's pulling the ship. I think that's why she started working there. That makes sense. If you could have any type of protection, why not have it for one of the strongest guys here? Even if it's not exactly because she's cared for. Got it. Then that's where I'm headed. I'd advise that you keep your head low. No telling what these guys could do if they hear that you know something. Have any idea when her shift is? It'll be around 10 minutes from now, but she hasn't been at work in days. I tried checking on her, but no one has seen her yet. Then there's a chance she may already be in danger. If that's the case, then I don't have a moment to lose. Wait a minute. Hmm? Yeah? A detective is kind of a weird occupation to have hell. Those guys usually tax with helping people rather than try to kill or hurt others. So why take on that role? Hmm. Well, I guess I just feel like I should. Ignoring the fact that I was kind of pulled into this job, I feel as if I can make a difference here. I'd like to believe that all demons aren't bad, and for the ones that just want to live and survive, I think I can lend a helping hand to that cause. Be safe out there, Sahara. When all this is over, we should hit up a concert sometime. Hold on! Did you say Aussies? The very same. Apparently, Miss Garth worked there as a waitress and a showgirl. By utilizing the security of the club, there's no way that she would have been attacked by those guys. Although, Sahara stated that she hadn't been to work in about a week. Then there's a chance that she may already be dead. If she is, then poof, there goes our fucking lead. Even if she's dead, we can still get some information from her house. You never know, she could have been hiding something. Hopefully we can find out where she's living. Best way to find out is to go to the big boys of that establishment. Big boys? Oh, hold on, you're not suggesting to start questioning Osmodius and Vizrali, right? Th that's basically suicide! Maybe, but it's the best chance we've got. If anyone is gonna know where Miss Garth's hideout is, it's them. You've got a point there. I gotta admit, the balls on you are pretty big right now, but you aren't going in there alone. If something happens, you're gonna need some backup. I'll take care of- No! My! 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 I'll do it! Huh? Oh wait, you do know that we'll basically be in front of a smoking gun, right? Oh, I know all about that! I've just always wanted to do some questioning! I can be the bad cop, and you can be the good cop! Mel, usually the bad cop is able to intimidate the guy. I don't think anyone is intimidating Osmodius. You'd be surprised. In any case, if anyone's going to be keeping a watchful eye on someone, I think Millie could be of some help. You saw how tough she was with those aging guys. Aging guys? Wait, what? Long story. Anyways, if she wants to be your backup, then I say go for it. I second that notion. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Huh. Well, if everyone is in agreement, then that sounds good to me. Millie, you'll be my backup. Yes! Time to get my hands all dirty! Uh, this definitely won't backfire. I think. This place looks colorful. Wait until you see the inside of the place. It's like living in a neon sun. All right, kid. I'm warning you. 
This place is no joke. If something bad goes down in there, your survival will be slim. Not only that, but there's a slew of incubi and succubi in there, so there's a chance they may be able to sniff out that human soul of yours. Don't worry, I'll be okay. After heading into what is essentially a photo brothel, I think I'll be alright. Ready, Millie? Lead the way, detective! Be careful in there, hun. Oh, don't worry about me, hun bun. I'll be just fine. I've got my secret weapon with me, just in case! If it's a fucking bomb, leave it here. Aww, no fun. Zach. Yeah? Be careful in there, yeah? I will. I promise. They weren't kidding about the succubi and incubi around here. They're literally everywhere. It seems like this place is the perfect place for them to work their magic. Not only that, but judging by the stage and all the stripper poles, degeneracy is definitely a thing. What are you thinking about that, Eric? You look like you're in the pod. Nothing as of now. I'm just trying to get a good read on this place. Doing that may give me a good idea on what we're dealing with in regards to the owners. Trust me. Everyone knows who Asmodeus and Fizz are. Those two are probably one of the most well-known people here, with Verasica coming in a close second. Uh, Verasica? Uh, I'll just pretend I know what you're talking about. Why, hello there! Welcome to Ozzy's! Might I take your order? Oh, no, we're not here for anything to eat. But you could help us out with something. Oh! Are you asking for me to join you two in a little one-on-one -on -one time? <laughs> Ooh, you have such a wonderful scent. Uh... That's your hand, dumbass! We're not here to have fun with toys like you! My partner and I are here to talk to your boss! Uh, fuck toy? Wait, my boss? Osmodius and Frizzarali. We need to ask them a few questions. If you could, mind bringing them here? Um, I don't think that'll be possible. I mean, they just got done with the show and, uh... That ain't what we want to hear, prissy boy! What we actually want to hear is you taking your skinny pancake ass over to your sugar daddies and bring them here yesterday! Eh? But, but, ma'am, it's out of my hands. They're taking a breather at the moment, and disturbing them would only cause problems for me. Oh, and you think we won't? You might want to listen to my partner here. As you can see, any little thing can set her off. But, sir, you're telling me that you're just going along with this? I just work here, man! And that's why we need your assistance. I want to be done with this as much as you do, but unfortunately, we can't be done until we talk to your higher-ups. Look, if I could bring them to you, I would, but my hands are tied here. I can't just bring my bosses out here for two random strangers. Hmm, maybe you're right. But if that's the case, why not take us to them? Wait, you want me to what? Yeah, I think that'll be a better idea. Take us to them, and just leave the scene. That way, you won't get in trouble with them, and you won't have to be added to my partner's list of dead waiters. d dead waiters <laughs> I already have 999 bodies. Wanna make it 1,000? The quicker you lead us there, the quicker we're out of your hair. Fine, fine, okay. I'll take you to the dressing room. Just keep that... THING away from me! <laughs> Not bad, Mel. Who knew you could be so intimidating? You'd be surprised how much Moxie loves this side of me. Believe me, I see it in his eyes. In other places.
This is it. You'll find the owners here. Huh, big door. They compensating, or do they actually need it to be this big? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get lost before I use that ass of yours as paperweight, got it? And be sure not to tell anyone we're here, or else... Uh, yes, ma'am! I don't get paid enough for this shit. Hmm. Come in. Huh? What the hell? That's one big bird. The other one looks like a jester or a clown. Definitely wasn't expecting this. Hmm? Oh, hey, you're not one of our guys. Who the hell are you supposed to be? My name is Zach Trevel, IMP Private Investigator. IMP? You talking about the hitman biz that old Blitzo has nowadays? Ah, so you know him? You could say that. Didn't know he employed a detective. And one that looks more human than demon, too. Eh, I guess I just got lucky when I found myself down here. And who's this young imp lady with you? I'm Millie, his partner. Nice to meet y'all. Naturally. Now I believe you owe us a bit of an explanation of why you two are in our dressing room. Of course. I'm right now working on a case. One where one of your employees can help me find out some information. One of our employees? Indeed. We're looking for- Hey now, hold on just a second, buddy! You really just expect us to just let loose info about one of our bitches? Ha! <laughs> That's rich! We don't do well with detectives anyway! <laughs> Well, last time I checked, he wasn't really talking to you. In my opinion, you should just sit right back down on your master's lap and wait until he needs you as a flashlight. Oh, so the little imp has jokes! Bitches like you need to understand what they're good for! Well, at least we're better at it than you'll ever be. Mill, no, chill out. Fizz, darling. Do me a favor and relax, would you? But- I'm curious about this young man. Something is very enticing about him. Enticing? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you say he be up front with each other? Really lay ourselves bare for one another? Hmm? Um, if you're asking me to get naked for you, I'll have to pass. Can't mix work with pleasure and all that, you know. <laughs> as delicious as that would be, I meant something entirely different. What I mean is that we should both be truthful with each other. After all, it wouldn't be fair if you were the only one who was pulled here, now would it, little human? <gasps> you mean, you know? Wait, he's really a human?! Why, yes, I do believe he is. If we ignore the fact that he looks exactly like one, his soul feels so close to one. In fact, I'd say it's a one-to-one. -one. However, that eye of his is the only thing that throws me off. The way it stares at me, cut him into my own soul. It sends shivers up my spine, and no human has been able to do that. <laughs> huh. I guess you could call it a gift. Well, yeah, you got me. I am a human. Haven't died yet, that's for sure. So it seems. Yet, you house demonic powers, once akin to that of an upper class, you know? perhaps you're the one that Miss Goisha spoke about? You mean Stella. Ah, so you've met her. Why, yes. It was her that called me just yesterday. In fact, from her voice, I could tell that her feathers were rustled. Truth be told, it was music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can't stand her either. Oh, darling, who could? Are you two friends now? <sighs> So I believe you said you had some questions for us? Huh? Wait, so we're just gonna answer them for him? Uh, but isn't he a 
Calm down, Fizz darling. He's a guest. After all, besides, this young gumshoe has a lot of work ahead of him. So why don't we give him a bit of a clue? Uh, fine, if that's what you want, Ozzy. I'll answer his stupid little questions. Alrighty, let's get down to business here. I'm looking for a woman that started working here a couple of weeks back. A few key witnesses have stated that she was spotted here. Her name is Laura Garth. Ring any bells? Laura? Oh, you're talking about the one lady that worked on the pull. So, she really was hair? That's correct. She was a sweet young woman, came into work early and stayed late. She was pretty popular with the patrons here, which is why she was one of our big main events. Under Fizz myself, of course. You speak of her in past tense. Does she no longer work here? Well, that's the weird thing, kiddo. Lady ended up ghosting us a few days ago. About three or four, if I'm remembering correctly. And you two didn't go to her place to check on her? As amazing as she was, we make it a point to not get involved with our employees' lives, unless we're teasing them or some shit. Huh, I see. So she's been gone for a few days, then, and without any sort of notice either. That's not a good sign. If I may ask, did anyone strange come around the place? Strange? What do you mean? We mean anyone who's worn this mask. This is a mask that's worn by a group of people. We've reason to believe they're known as the Akuma Ningen. Know anything about that? Uh, no. Really, no. Not really. Uh, pretty sure I'd remember someone wearing something like that. No offense, kid, but that's for sure. Indeed. I haven't seen anyone come to the club wearing anything like this either. Then it's just as I suspected. Miss Garth was using this place as a sort of safe space. Those guys wouldn't be stupid enough to make trouble in the King of Lust's own club. Only an idiot would do that. Which means if she was attacked at all, it had to be at her house. If you're looking for her home, we can help with that. You know where she lives? Of course! It is necessary just in case we have to make a business visit. Fizz, darling, if you be so kind. Yeah, I'm on it. This should help you out. Oh, be careful, though. That place ain't exactly kind to, uh, well, anyone, actually. Thanks for the heads up. And thanks for the information, too. This should give us some insight as to what's going on. Of course, dear. I'm excited to see how this little mystery plays out. So please, be sure to come back and tell us all about it. We'll even give you the VIP lounge for you and your friends. I'll definitely take you up on that offer, Mr. Osmodius. Alright. Come, Watson. We have our heading. Why do I have to be Watson? He was never as intimidating as I am. Eh, that's fair. Then you can be... Ah, Rachel Moore. How's that supposed to be? I'm offended that you even have to ask that. Well, that went better than I expected. Would have been better if that damn clown wasn't being such a bitch. True, but all's well that ends well. Hmm? Just what are those guys looking at? Hey, you catch the ass on that info over there? Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, you think it's a fake? Nah, that thing's real, alright. I can tell. Huh? What the? Am I actually hearing them? But how? The room is filled with people, yet I can hear them crystal clear. What's going on? She looks like she's from the raft. I hear bitches from there crazy. You saw her before with that dude. Pretty sure she basically confirmed. Hey, who doesn't like a bit of crazy? My opinion, the crazy man is tight on you the most. Well, you can have it if you want. I ain't looking to get killed. Shouldn't be too hard getting what I want from her. She luckily doesn't look too tough. Huh? Zap, what's wrong? 
gonna bag another one, huh? How are you gonna pull that one? Sedated? Rope? Or you're just gonna shoot her legs first and take it? Nah, I can get you to use some fashion hands. Just gotta rough her up a bit. Then take it and sweep her. Zach? What's going on? Huh? The hell do you- Oops. Slip of the hand. Let me try that again. God! The fuck, man? Bitch, you better- Oh, silly me! I seem to be so clumsy right now! I wanted them to at least be alive to hear this one. Oh well. What the hell's your problem, man? We didn't do nothing to you! You have a lot of nerve asking me that, when someone as pathetic as you exists. Huh? Stop talking. You're making it harder for me not to pop one in your head. Now then. I want you to answer a few questions. How many people did you force yourself upon? Wait, you heard us? What? Well, why would that matter? You have ten seconds to start talking. If you don't, you're not gonna be breathing for long. Alright, alright. Well, let's see. There was one... One is already too many. But wait, Zack! What was that all about? Ah, looks like the human has some spunk in him. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. Gave us a mess to clean up, but what show doesn't need a bit of a cleaning up afterwards? Agreed. Now I'm starting to wonder about the kid, though. There is something off about him. You mean other than the fact that he's a living human in hell? Even more than that, I could feel a strange aura within his soul. Or rather, something else other than his soul. What? So he has something other than his soul inside of him? It does seem that way. Whatever it is, though, it's growing. Almost as if it's feeding off of him. Huh. Crazy. Yes, indeed. And if he doesn't do anything about it soon, it may just swallow him whole. Oh, so that's why you went ballistic on those three. <sighs> yeah, basically. After hearing them plotting to try and assault you, I kind of lost my cool. Probably could have done that a little less violent, though. <laughs> but, you know. Well, I do appreciate the help. Though I could have handled them myself. It's nice to know you've got my back. It's not a problem, really. Hmm. You don't exactly seem proud of the situation, though. Something on your mind? I guess I'm just starting to get a little worried about myself. You saw me back there. I had little to no hesitation with killing those guys. It's like I'm getting used to it. Not much for the idea of killing, huh? No, not really. Huh? Hey, uh, what are you- Just trying to get a good view. Let's see here. over there. Let's pop a squad over there. Um, so you want me to carry you? Well, duh. That's why I'm on your shoulder. Now come on, let's get a move on. Uh, all right, all right. Don't get your tail in a knot. Yeah, and Moxie have a lot in common, you know? Eh? We do? I also had a slight issue with killing random folks. We're a hitman company, but when it comes to killing a full family of people, he kinda got cold fate. He said that he thought we should be selective. 
Oh, really? And what happened to the family? Did you guys kill them? Well, we killed the mama, but the rest died on their own volition. Turns out they were a family of murderous cannibals. Creepy folks, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, I think so. Point I'm making is that here in Hale, more times than not, folks around here aren't that deserving of any kind of mercy. They lie, cheat, steal, kill, and many more things, too. If anything, I got a little steam on them ain't gonna hurt anyone. Hmm. Maybe so. But I still want to believe that there are good demons here. Huh? Sure. The demons around here may not be the greatest of people, but humans aren't either. They can do terrible things to people, and are responsible for many awful events. However, that doesn't mean that they're all bad. The same goes for demons. You, Blitz, Moxie, Octavia, Stolas, and Luna. You guys are a good bunch, even with your murderous intentions to some folks. <laughs> Wait, so you consider me to be a good person? Well, you're better than most demons here. I mean, look at the way you protect Moxie all the time. A shitty demon would probably not want to do something like that, am I right? Maybe. Still, that doesn't mean you can skip out on killing someone that's trying to kill you. Huh? At that point, are you really killing for no reason? If someone was trying to hurt a loved one or a friend or even yourself, is that really killing? Or is that just protected? Hmm. <laughs> You may have killed your dad, but that doesn't mean you're like him. You did it out of revenge and self-defense. If you wouldn't have done that, he would have killed you. You know that, right? <laughs> Maybe you've got a point. Murder can be bad, but it can also be something used for good as well. If used in the right circumstances. Mm -hmm. That's right! Besides, you might as well forget about the whole not killing thing. That ship has kind of already sailed. Oh, so Luna already told you about how I killed my dad? Uh, hold on, you did what now? Okay, that answers my question. Never mind then. No, 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 no! You can't leave it at that. You gotta tell me the details. How did it happen? Did he turn into a green glass glowing right in a fire machine? What kind of childhood do you think I had? I don't know, but I do have been something cool. Try traumatic instead, Mill. Come on, please. <sighs> Fine, but I'm only gonna say it once. Wow, so you basically killed your dad after you killed your mother. That's what the writers of my life wrote. I didn't know you went through all that. I, uh... I hope I didn't bring back anything too traumatic. No, you did. Absolutely. But I'm getting better with this whole thing, thanks to you all. Yeah, no. If he's that bad of a guy, we could always go out and find the son of a bitch. Then he wouldn't be too happy to get his ass fucked up by his old kid again. <laughs> uh, no thanks. As great as that feel, I'd rather not run into that guy again right now. Oh, and I wanted to kick his ass for you. Oh well, maybe next time. I can teach you how to use a dagger in the meantime. Teach me? Yeah, yeah. For example, you were holding the dagger wrong there. If you want to have a better grip and also use your momentum, you got to hold the dagger backhanded. You also want to target a person's leg and tendons rather than just cutting wildly. It'll not only stop them from attacking, but also lessen their agility. Huh, I never thought of that. I mean, I hadn't had a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight recently, except when I fought Alistair. Still, I'll definitely remember that. I have a whole lot of other tips and tricks with melee weapons. Oh, and my family over at the Wrath Ring can teach you a thing or two as well. Huh? Your family? Yeah, I can introduce you to them sometime. Sally Mae would most definitely like you. <laughs> you know, I like that very much. Thanks, Mel. You're actually pretty cool. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm nothing special. You're a part of the IMP family now, so I gotta make sure that you're capable of taking care of yourself, you know? 
There's that word again. Family. So what Stola said was true. <laughs> I'll make sure I make you proud, Mill. I can already picture it, hun. You'll do great as our resident private investigator. Yeah! Is this really the place? Yeah, yeah, this is the address on the card. Not sure how long the place has been livable, though. It looks unsanitary. But at the same time, it's discreet. No one would ever think that anyone would live here. Which is a double-edged sword. No one would think to look there, either to kill someone or to save someone. That's true. You think she's still alive? Only one way to find out. Luna, you're with me. Your sense of smell could come in handy. Blitz, Moxie, Millie, you three scope the scene out. See if there's anything out of the ordinary. Uh, be careful, though. You got it, detective! You be careful too, okay? Oh, he'll be alright. Looney is with him, after all. Oh, trust me, I noticed. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing! Come on, Moxon! Let's go investigating! Uh, right. Let's go. Um... Hmm. Looks like this is the place. There are signs of a break-in. You talking about the broken glass? No, that was made before. How can you tell? Take a look at the doorknob. The lock has multiple scratches around the keyhole. That indicates that something was rubbing along it. Like a lockpick. Now, why would someone break a window if they were able to pick the lock? <laughs> you smell that? Ugh, yeah. Smells like old food. Not a good sign. Come on, and stay close. <sighs> Someone's been here. Probably tried to find something. Or maybe something worse. <gasps> What's wrong? See some- Holy fuck, is that- Laura Garth. So it's just as I thought. From the looks of it, she's been dead for a few days. Probably the day she first skipped work. What did they do to her? Torture, that's what. They must have been trying to get information from her. <sighs> At least they're both together, wherever they are. Ugh, you okay? It's a bit of a gruesome sight. I'll be okay. I'm starting to get used to the gore and everything. Let's try to look around the area, though. With the way they ruined the place, it's possible that they were getting agitated. Perhaps they were unable to find what they were looking for. Right. Let's get to work. I'll check the living room, you check here in the bedroom. You got it. Holler if you need anything. The room looks a little banged up, but it isn't as ruined as the living room. Could they have forgotten to look around here? No, they're not that stupid. Maybe they were tipped off about something being in the living room. Her neck has a mark. It feels like an engraving, as if it happened over time. Usually that's done by straps or chains. Judging from the feeling, it's constant, rather than patterned. That means that it had to have been a full quarter of some sort. Hmm. What do we have here? 
It's a strap. It has the word Canon on it. That's a camera company, if I'm remembering correctly. Was she a photographer? That would explain the mark on her neck. Hmm. The camera isn't around the room at all. Those dudes must have taken it. Probably destroyed it by now, too. Huh. There's dark red wallpaper on the ground. Was she remodeling or something? Kind of a lot to be remodeling a small apartment like this. Wonder what it's being used for. finger is coated with some sort of black substance. It almost looks like lead markings, probably from a pencil. So, there's a chance she was writing something the day she was murdered. Could be important. Still, is what she was writing even here? Or maybe... Find something? Not as of yet, but... I did notice that her scent is still present around this area. I'm not sure why, but I can't help but find this place here strange. Huh. <coughs> Luna, look over here. Hmm? What's up? That spot there isn't paint. It's being covered with wallpaper. Why would she need a wallpaper? Just paint the damn wall. Because wallpaper hides divots better than paint. secret door! She must have used the wallpaper to hide it! And I think we're about to figure out why. <clears throat> well, what do we have here? Looks like some sort of box? What, does it have a secret string or some shit? Let's be real here, Luna the Sea Star. It must be holding something important. What is this book for? It could be a journal. Take a look at those photos. Yeah, they're all dead bodies. Excuse me? It looks like she was doing some research on the other guys those Yakuza fucks killed. See? There are masks left at the scene of every crime. So the masks are left as calling cards. But if that's the case, why was the one left by the spy holding a secret tape in it? Dude may have gotten lazy and just left that guy's mask instead of leaving a new one. In my opinion, I think it came down to luck. Ah, uh, maybe. Or maybe there's something else. Now, let's see what's with this notebook. Ah! Uh, just as I suspected. This thing is a journal. It seems to depict a full analysis on every crime scene that those Yakuza guys created. So, we found our motive. She was sought after and killed, due to her sticking her nose where it didn't belong. She must have wanted to find those assholes after they killed her brother. She got too close, they killed her, and then tore up the place to try and find any evidence as to what she found out. Which means that this is just what we need to find a clue as to where they could be hiding. You're, You're a genius! genius! Um... Uh... <clears throat> uh, I mean, uh, good job! You're doing great! Uh, Luna? Yeah, you too. You're definitely not doing terrible. <clears throat> Anyways, we should get going and head back to IMP with the others. With this evidence, I think we're going to need to do some brainstorming. Ah, there. That should do it. Now, let's try and figure out what the significance of these photos are. Well, we already know that these are all murders that the Akuma Ningen carried out. The masks are a direct representation of that. What we first thought to be an accident was actually meant to be a calling card. It works well, too. Keeps them secretive while also being an easy reminder of who they are and what they're capable of. But why kill all these folks? I mean, for all we know, they could have been just a few random people that were at the wrong place at the wrong time. If that's the case, why the calling card? If there were just a couple of incidental killings, why use them as a means to show fear? Perhaps they were actually killed for a reason. Most organizations like them aren't too understanding when someone goes out of their way to fuck up what they got going on. So, of course, they would decide to go out of their way to take them out. And with them already being killed, why not use them as a means to instill fear for anyone who wants to go out of their way and go against them? It would basically take down two birds with one single stone. 
That's great and all, but that doesn't exactly tell us where these guys are hiding. That's the main thing we're trying to figure out here, remember? Might be there's something in the photos that can tell us that? If there is, I'm not seeing it. We've been staring at them for a while, and the journal only depicts what was found at the crime scenes. The only things that were left were the masks, which are the calling cards, apparently. thinking for that long? Well, we were at the lust ring for a while today. I'm surprised that we got back sooner than we did. I'd say we did pretty good today, though, all things considered. We should pick this up in the morning. <sighs> About time. The smell of spoiled milk is stuck in my nose. <coughs> hmm? Hey, kid. Didn't you hear me? It's quitting time. Head home. Huh? Oh, right. Actually, I think I'll stay and try to figure this shit out. I'm not exactly ready to call it quits yet. So, you're just gonna stay here all night? Yeah, if that's okay with you guys. I don't know. Sir, I... actually think that's a good idea. I mean, someone who has to have been paying for the Motel Loon is allowing him to stay at. Maybe it'd be cool if he stayed here for a night. Since he's an employee. Well... I don't mind if it's for the night, but someone's gotta stay with him. Last thing we need is for him to get himself into trouble. With that being said, Mox, you'll be- I'll stay with him. Uh, wait. You're gonna stay with him? Yeah, what of it? Nothing per se. It's just that you kinda rarely volunteer for anything. Y yeah, well, I just felt like it this time, that's all. I, I mean, what's it to you, fatty? Calm down, calm down. I have no objections to Luna staying here. I think it'd be cool since she could help keep me awake until I figure something out. Hmm. You know what? Sure. You two seem to be getting along all right. So we shouldn't have to worry about anyone putting holes in the walls. Again with the walls. If you try anything with my loony, I will make sure that I fuck you in every hole in your body. Well, we'll let you two continue with the investigation. Let us know if you two find anything. All right? <laughs> He wasn't serious, was he? Honestly, I have no goddamn clue. These photos have some sort of clue, I'm sure of it. You took these things for a reason. The fact that you were targeted and killed shows that you found out something. Something important. But what was it? Your journal only gives out a small amount of information, and we've already checked it for secret ink or writing. Came out cold. Go figure. The photos have to be the key. I just gotta find it and place it into the correct lock. <sighs> think, think. Each photo depicts their respective crime scene, showing a good radius of the area. Each one has their address written on the back, and a date as well. Maybe the date isn't what I should be paying attention to. Perhaps it's the locations? If so, what do they have to do with the case? How do they relate to this? To the murders? And to possibly where they could be hiding? Huh? Every time you start thinking down there, you always end up ignoring the world around you. <laughs> uh, my bad. It's a habit, I guess. <laughs> it's whatever. Here, your usual. Ah, <sighs> thanks a bunch. This ought to get my mind up to 100%. <sighs> <sighs> this is great! Did you make this? Well, we do have a coffee maker, and I kinda noticed how you make that stuff. What was it, a caramel coffee? Yeah, that was it, caramel coffee. So I just whipped it up for you. Wow, you did great for your first time, then. You're a natural. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's no problem. Uh, anyways, did you find out something? Uh, nothing yet. I've analyzed the journal from top to bottom, but there isn't anything hiding. Thus, I moved on to the photos. I know there's something up with them. Otherwise, why take them? Especially when she already went and documented the entire area in writing. Well... Well, I got nothing either. 
I mean, maybe it could be something about the body. If it is, then we're shit out of luck. Those bodies are probably long gone by now. Probably smells like the goddamn sewers, too. Yeah, it's possible. But I get the feeling that something is missing. There's something nagging at me. But I can't put my finger- <laughs> Luna, say that again! Uh, that again. No, the other thing. <laughs> no, the other thing. No, what you said before when you- No, what you said before when you- Alright, alright, alright. Never mind. I think I figured out what the clue is. Wait, you did? Well, don't leave me waiting. What did you find out? Okay, take a look at the photos. Other than the calling card, what do each of these scenes have in common? Well, let's see. They're all kind of tucked away in either an alley or a cutaway in the street and- <gasps> You see it? Yeah, I do. Every murder scene has a manhole cover. Exactly. This changes things. At first, we thought that their disappearing act was due to them being able to use magic. However, this time, the obvious answer was the correct answer. By using the sewers, they could get around undetected and quickly. Okay, that's great and all, but how does that help us? Sure, we know that they use the sewers as a means to get around, but that doesn't tell us where they're hiding. Not necessarily. If they're using the sewers to get around, then that means they have to have a hideout that's either close to the sewers, or... Or their hideout is in the sewers. Correct, Amundo! Our best bet is to search the sewers, see where they could be hiding out in there. If my hunch is correct, we may just find what we're looking for. That's perfect! Not bad, pussy! <laughs> With how many times you've called me that, I should start meowing after every sentence. Seriously, don't do that, or I will tackle you. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say. Nyan. <laughs> Jeez, have you ever seen the Lion King movie? Because you could probably give Nala a run for her money in the art of pouncing. You and your movie references. Just because you're cute doesn't make you any less nerdy. <laughs> yeah, that's fa- Uh, wait. You think I'm cute? I... Uh, well, I mean... Uh... Is that you breathing heavy? What? No, I thought that was... You... Oh, shit. Millie. A and Moxie. Ooh. Calm down, you two. It's not what you think. Seriously. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're, We're telling Blitz. Huh? W wait! Mill! Mox! Hold on! <gasps> Get back here! And here I thought you two were gonna start going feral on each other, if you know what I mean. Uh, first of all, no. Blitz would kill me if I did that shit. Well, more like fuck you, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, right. Second, it was all a big misunderstanding. She just pounced on me because I was teasing her. That's all. I don't know. You two were definitely staring into each other's eyes for a while there, and I may be wrong. Was that a blush on your faces? You're obviously blind, fatty! I, I was not blushing! Maybe he was, since that was probably the closest he'll ever get to a chick in his life, but definitely not me. Well, I did get a little bit closer to that one succubus that tried to lead me into her car today. You say something, pussy? Yeah, no, no ma'am, nothing at all. <laughs> Aww, you two make such a cute couple! No, no we, we wouldn't! wouldn't. Shut, Shut up! up. Stop, Stop saying, saying what, what I'm, I'm saying! saying. You're, You're not, not making, making this, this any easier! easier. Fuck! <laughs> Come on, we gotta talk about how this little spark started. I will admit I realized that you two had a little something going on, but I never thought it'd be this fast! There is no something something going on, I'm serious! Zack, do something! Uh, just go along with it, Luna. She's not gonna believe us whatsoever. Ugh, but why? 
Yeah, Marcy, have some god time, let out some stress and stuff. Horn and I will be back later, okay? <clears throat> um, so, I guess we're kind of alone, huh? Uh, yeah, so we are. You want to get a drink? Uh, oh, no, 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 I don't drink alcohol. It doesn't usually end well for me. Neither do I. I saw a cool cafe close by, though, if you want to get something from there. Do they have avocado salad? Probably. Come on, we might as well. Uh, anyways, I think Millie is going to be bombarding Luna with questions for a while anyway, so, uh, you know, uh, might as well, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so it seems. Huh. Gotta say, this actually tastes good. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. As they say, you never know unless you try it. Mm. <laughs> That's true. So, you and Millie. How long has that been going on? Hmm? Oh. <sighs> For years now. <sighs> She's my one and only, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. You two seem to be really happy together. Hell, I rarely ever see you guys fight. Oh, no, 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 no. We do fight sometimes. Uh, most of the time ends with us... Mm. She pegs you, basically. And, wait, how did, how, did, how did you know? When you sat down, you did your best to pop a squat slowly and gently. Not only that, but you had a slight limp when you were walking, indicating that you either injured your cheeks or had something in between them. Nines out of ten, it was the latter. <sighs> Sometimes I forget that you're a detective. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Uh, don't worry, though. No judging from me. It actually seems enjoyable. Mm, it can be. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see, I've got a question. Hmm? Yeah, sure, what's up? You've been helping us with this problem you've been having, yet at first we tried to kill you. Are you sure that you're fine with helping us? Oh, well, it's kind of late to think about that now. Uh, plus, in the end, all's well that ends well, right? Besides, you guys need help, and I've yet to lose my life. I'd call that a pretty good agreement. That's understandable. However, there's nothing that says that we won't kill you after this case is solved. How do you know that we won't just do that after this is over? Easy. Because I know you won't. Look, bud. I've seen what an asshole looks like. My own dad was literally one. So much so that he went and killed my mother over money. After that, years in an orphanage make it very easy for a guy to learn how to spot tells and signs of shitty people. You may be an assassin, but you're not a bad dude. You seem like the type who only kills when needed and when paid to. And even then, I bet that you'd think twice about killing someone who doesn't deserve it, right? Well, maybe at one point. Nowadays, I try not to think about it. I'm guessing something had happened. Yeah... See, a while back, we got a hit from someone a while ago. He wanted us to kill a mother of an entire family. Said her husband cheated on her with the target. and had a full-on shotgun blast. We were tasked to finish the job. Was she a good person? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, far from it. Turns out she and her family were full-on cannibals. Murdered innocent people and then ate them with almost no remorse. At first glance, they seemed so nice and kind, so when I was tasked to taking the shot... I hesitated. Me doing that almost got my wife hurt. That's why nowadays, I do my best not to think about it. Even when we were tasked with killing you. Hmm. So he has trauma in regards to that. Or maybe it goes even deeper. So that's why you attacked me without a second of remorse. Because you were worried that it'd be the same situation as that one. Yeah, exactly. Millie told me about your father, by the way. And about how you killed him. Uh, oh, did she really? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Don't worry, I'm not gonna see you differently. She told me everything about the situation. You know, my own father isn't exactly a good person either. He kills your mom too? No, no. But she did leave him. See, my dad is part of the Mafia in the Greed Ring. 
crimson is his name. He always did whatever he could to make me in his own image. But I didn't want to be like him. He's ruthless, uncaring, and only cares about his self-image and money. I never want him to see Millie or anyone I know. He's just... well, that bad. Holy shit. I never knew. Well, that explains the gunslinging skills. Still, I don't think you should worry about that. You're nowhere near like that asshole. I can tell you have a good heart, especially from how you treat your wife and how you help everyone out when you're in a fight, even Luna. You're strong, dependable, and a straight up badass in my opinion. You've got a lot going for you, you little knucklehead. Well, I'll admit, you're not a bad person either. Finally, a good person up there in the living world. Eh, I wouldn't say completely good. I'd say I'm on neutral good if we're talking D&D terms. <laughs> Thanks for showing that me being selected wasn't a completely bad move. <laughs> Not a problem, my guy. To us, a couple of dudes with shitty fathers. To us. Thanks for helping us out, Stolas. With this information, we should find ourselves hot on those assholes' tails. Oh, please, don't even mention it. I'm always happy to give a bit of assistance wherever I can. So, what the hell are we even doing here? Elementary, my dear hound of hell. As you know, there are plenty of maps that show sewer lines in big cities and towns. It shouldn't be any different here in hell. Thus... We can narrow down our search by locating where all those sewer lines meet. I get it. If there's a main hub that they all connect to, then it's possible that there could be something left there. Exactly! This should do the trick. Do you two need anything else? Oh, no. This is perfect. Though, you could help us out with something. Oh? And what perchance would that be? Ah, that's simple. Just place your finger on these two lines and try to follow them on the map. Luna, you follow those two lines, and I'll follow the last two. If my hunch is correct, they should all meet up in the middle. Got it. On three, two, one, go! No way, you were right! They do all end at the same place! Which means that this is our best bet in finding some clues as to where they are. Your assistance is much appreciated, Stolas. You've just helped us make a break in the case. I'll be sure to take you out to lunch sometime. Oh, be careful, you two! Don't do anything that I wouldn't do! Hmm. Perhaps I should... Call Blitz and let him know the situation. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure it'll be fine. After all, Luna seems like the type who would let her own father know if anything big is happening, right? Hell no, we're not telling him! Eh? Well, why not? Isn't this important information? Plus, he's still our boss, you know? And I really don't want to get shot if something happens. We can handle this on our own. Besides, if we tell him anything, that'll just drive more suspicion. After all, we have no goddamn clue if Millie will keep what happened back there a secret. The more time we let those two enjoy their company together, the better chance that she'll forget all that shit. Which, in turn, will keep you from getting filled full of holes. Yeah, you may have a point. Alright, but if it gets too bad, we're pulling out of there like a shitty boyfriend without a condom. Uh, if he's a shitty boyfriend, do you really think he'd be so courteous to pull out on time? You'd be surprised what a guy will do when he doesn't want kids. Eh, fair enough. Alright, here we are. Ugh, do we seriously have to go in there? It probably smells like shit down there. It's a sewer, of course it does. Come on, help me get this thing open. Mm -hmm. 
Um, ladies first. Again, it's a sewer. It's kind of to be expected. Huh. It's all over my feet! Fuck! Yeah. Guess I'm lucky to have my super lucky, super duper shoes of waterproofness on. <laughs> wow, that sentence sounds so stupid. Shut it, pussy! Uh, come on! Huh? What are you doing? Piggyback! Get on! Let's go! Hurry up! Huh? Wait, what? You don't have shoes or anything. I don't exactly think it'd be a good idea if you just walked around with your bare paws. So maybe it'd be best if you just jumped on. I mean, are you sure I wouldn't be too heavy? Not at all! Come on, let's go! Okay! You comfortable back there? Yeah, sure, just get moving. It stinks down here. All right, all right. Huh? Wait a second. What are you whistling? Huh? Um, vacay to Bone Town? What the? Wait, how the hell do you know about that song? Well, I kind of watched the video of that one pop star's concert back in Miami. You know, the one that got interrupted. I figured out what the song was called, and I've been listening to it ever since. So you don't know anything about what happened there? About the monster and all the sex that happened over there? Huh? Wait, so the rumors were true? Uh, yeah, it was. In fact, it goes further than that. The one who sings that song is THE Verasica Mayday. She's a pop star that's prominent in both the living world and here in hell. See? This is her in her true psychopathic form. Uh, she looks like the mascot for Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I can see what you mean. Me and the others met her not too long ago. She took our parking spot and used our building for a while. Next thing you know, we end up having a competition. A competition? What kind of competition? Basically, we had to kill more people than they could fuck. Wait... So that shit that happened a bit ago in Miami was because of you guys? Well, we didn't bring out the sea monster. And that was because of Verosica. Jeez. Wait, but how did you even walk amongst the humans looking like that? You're a hellhound after all. Don't you remember? I can switch into a human disguise. You saw it the day we met. Oh yeah! I forgot about that. I guess I'm just used to seeing your hellhound form. Now that we bring that up, if you had to choose, which would you go for? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, if you had to choose, would you go for my human form or my hellhound form? Uh, 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 well, uh, I, I mean, I'd just go with your normal form, you know? Uh, the hellhound form. That one. <laughs> what, are you one of those weirdos that are into animals? Yeah, no. I, I just want you to be in your true form, that's all. I like both of your forms because they're both you, you know? So, I like both of them. And whatever you want to be. <sighs> Jeez, fucking hell. What's wrong with me? After leaving Miss Garth's place, I've been in much more sus situations with her. What the hell is going on right now? Maybe it's because you're starting to get attached to her. Huh? Uh, what the hell are you doing here? It's been a while since we've been able to chat. Don't you miss your pal? I certainly miss you. No, not at all. What do you want? You're getting much more snippier than usual, you know. Gee, I wonder why. A demon that I don't know anything about is stuck in my head, and I'm the only one who can see him. Hmm, I really wonder. You're getting close to them, kiddo. Way too close. I'm telling you, once you're close to them, everything will go to shit for you. I'll get close to them if I want to. Besides, what am I going to do? Trust your ass? Hell to the fuck no. 
you're more suspicious than them. You speak so highly of them, yet you don't completely know if you can trust them. What happens if you mess up? Will they still see you in the same light? Well, I sure as hell won't fuck up. I'll make sure that everyone is safe. Tenacity at its finest. Well, I try. Go for it, kiddo. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Thank you. And I highly doubt Get the fuck lost on Trust them all you'd like, but the truth will come out. <sighs> the tank is trembling. Is it really that cold in here? Keep it so, the firm will keep it warm, right? Her grip on me is tighter, too. Is there something wrong? Uh, Luna? You okay up there? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Just thinking about shit and stuff, you know? Ah, I gotcha. Luna, did you hear him? But that's impossible. He's only in my head. Only I can see him here. I have to find out more about my powers. I know that him has some sort of connection to him. Just have to find out what it is. <sighs> this must be it. Big ass room. Like, damn. Finally. Good thing that my shoes are waterproof. Uh, Luna, you can get down now. Uh, right. So, what are we looking for in here? Anything, to be honest. For all we know, we could be looking for a secret door or stairs or some shit. Dude, there's not gonna be something that absurd. Oh, hold the phone! Find something? There's a brick here that's completely clean. Everywhere else there's grime and mold, but this one is basically spotless. Dude, there's no secret button. This isn't Hogwarts. <laughs> See? Nothing happened. <laughs> It appears that we're wizards, Looney. Shut up, head down! That um, Luna, your claws again. Oh fuck. Sorry. Hey, we've got this. Don't worry. Huh, there's the exit. Hold on. Let's be careful here first. Holy shit. This place is beautiful with all the cherry blossoms and the Japanese architecture. Shame that it has to be sullied with the sight of so many hazardous and illegal items filling it. Again, this is hell. Nothing is illegal. Still, though, this definitely confirms our suspicions. Yeah, they're using this hub as a method to distribute drugs, sex, and more. With this place being hidden, there's a very slim chance that any overlords know of this place's existence. And that place at the far end must be the boss room. Large statues overlooks the entire hub and has an ominous feel. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Then let's get moving. We may be able to find that asshole in there and end this whole thing. Hold on. We can't go out there. Nine times out of ten, there's bound to be guards out there. As we are now, they're bound to know who we are. Well, I can always switch into my human disguise for this, but what about you? Simple. I still have the mask. I can wear this as my disguise. Everyone here seems to be wearing a version of the mask. Maybe these not only double as calling cards, but also ways for people to know that they're here for business, rather than to fuck the place up. Then that would mean that it's possible that the ones who were murdered could have also been people who did their shopping here at this hub. It's a possibility. 
For now, let's head to that hub and do some digging. Stay close, alright, partner? Huh. It smells kind of nice in here. Hmm. It's gotta be the cherry blossoms and... Jasmine, Onigiri, and... Ah, Lou. Huh? Uh, yeah, but how the hell could you tell? It's difficult for even me to tell, so how could you figure it out? Eh, I don't know. My body has been kind of changing recently. I still don't understand it myself, to be honest. Zach. Huh. <sighs> Big place. They overcompensating for something? Took the words right out of my mouth. So, how do we get in? The front door probably isn't the right idea. Maybe there's another door? I have a better idea. Well, that's one way. When the hell did you get a military-grade glass cutter? I swiped it from the weapons closet back at the office. Lucky, eh? Should we split up? Hell no. Bad idea. If we have to make a quick escape, it'd be more dangerous for us to be apart. So then, where should we go? Well, as I say, you can never go wrong if you go right, so let's go right. Fair enough. Something is odd. Why is this place barely filled with any Yakuza buffs? Maybe it's their lunch break or a circle jerk time slot? A circle jerk? Come on. Hey, demons can be horny bastards. I'm surprised that we hadn't been stopped by one of them at some point. Eh, that's a good point. Still, it raises some questions for the most part. Large doors usually equal important shit. Then let's head inside. Help me with this door. What the hell is this? Looks like some sort of strange camera room. <laughs> Fucking perv. Probably was recording shit to use for his little alone time. No, these aren't recordings. Look up at the corners. They show dates and times. Huh? Wait, you're right. The date up there is today, too. So, these monitors are showing live feeds. That means that we've been watched this whole time. That's why they knew about us being at the club. Seems like they only show what's going on in Imp City and Pentagram City. That would explain why he had his fuckboys search the Lust Ring for Laura. So he has a limit to his reach. Still, he could be using this information to his advantage. For all we know, he could be an info broker as well. Now then, let's take a look at this PC here. Searching for something? I want to look and see if they save important records. Like older recordings or documents. <sighs> As I thought, there's a failsafe. All recordings that reach a specific time delete themselves. Seems like it's after a week of recording. What about files? Any of those? <laughs> oh yeah, there's plenty of files. Seems like they date back a good 15 years. Hold on, this one looks interesting. It's a list of names. None that seem too big, like Alistair or anything like that. Try another one. On it. This one seems pretty new, so... Huh? The hell? Yeah? What's up? The names on this list. Vox, Val, Velvet, Alistair? They're all on this list. It seems to be an avoid list of some sort. Like it's given to his guards or something. So he really was trying to stay out of the way of those guys. Is he afraid of them or something? Or maybe he's biding his time. For all we know, he could be stronger than even them. Huh? What the? 
Blitz is on this list too! What? It says see file 201 for information. Well then open it up already! On it. This is a very important announcement in command to the team we're sending out. Your assignment is to send a message to IMP. They have been causing trouble. Can't afford to waste any more time on this matter. Your mission is to find the book and bring it to me. If you're unable to locate it, send them a message. One that will shake them to their very core. Failure is not an option. The job starts at 5.30 p.m. The hell does that mean? When was the message made? Today, at 11.45 a.m. So that means that the job is today! But no one is there, it's closed. What do they think they're gonna do? Well, let's find out. What are you doing? Checking their video records. They're bound to have the video feed, due to it being about half an hour from the time the job has been started. I notice that the records are created after every hour and a half, meaning that the file has to be here somewhere. Okay. What do we have here? Oh no, 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 no! Where are Blitz and the others? Huh? Where are they? Are they all home? Uh, well, Blitz texted me a few minutes ago saying that he was worried about me being there alone. Nothing about you, but... Uh. So, Blitz, Mox, and Mills were on their way to check on us? Why? <sighs> Damn it! Yeah! Yeah! Zack, what the hell's going on? Those three are in danger. We gotta warn them as soon as possible. Warn them? About what? It's IMP. Those Yakuza bastards rigged the entire building to explode! <laughs> Yeah, they must have done it right when we all left the building. And they had the perfect opportunity too, since we never locked the goddamn door! Fucking damn it! Well, we have some time at least to stop them! Did you try calling them at all? I did, but they're not answering! The hell are they doing that they can't answer the damn phone? You being a genius is not, not my lover. lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. one. But the kid is not my son. She says I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Shamona. Ah, whatever. We just gotta head him off. Come on. How long will it take for us to get there? Way too long on foot. If we sprint, they'll make it before we do. Fuck, 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 fuck! Uh, uh, uh. Huh. This should work. It has to. Ha <laughs> ha! Luna, over here! This should help us out. Hold on, do you even know how to drive a motorcycle? No, but I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, so it's basically the same thing. Final Fantasy what? Everything is starting to come together. His method is all out in the open. We now know how he's able to make quick decisions and get his men out quickly. We now just have to figure out what he wants with the book. It can be for virtually any reason. That grimoire is filled to the brim with power. With it, you could possibly take down an overlord. He would blitz happy rather than stones. Attacking him is easy pickings. That means that he really was making himself a target the whole time. Well, luckily we can stop him from getting blown to bits, but only if we hurry the fuck up! Right. Hold up. It's time to speed it up! You fucking idiot! 
Just hold on tight! Excuse me, pardon me, sorry! Ooh, nice man. Ah, sorry, didn't mean to look there! You gotta get lower if we're gonna be able to hit the ground safely! Leave it to me, I got this! Sorry about that. The Ow! Claws! The hell was that about? And where do you two come from? I thought you said you both were gonna do some more brainstorming. Uh, never mind that. We need to get out of here and take cover. We don't have much time until... with this in the movies is everyone okay I think so what the hell just happened what the fuck happened and I thought I had problems with people fucking up my walls now there literally are any walls who did this I bet it was fucking Moxie what? Me? Sir, how the hell could I have done this? No, it wasn't him at all. The Akuma Ningen was the cause. <laughs> They've been watching us the entire time, getting information on us, stalking us. No way! They were required to find the book, but fortunately, they don't seem to have found it. Well, yeah. have been keeping the book on us the entire time just in case. As I thought. That doesn't explain why they didn't attack us until now, though. Does that even matter at this point? Huh? Don't you get it? This entire time, you've been tasked with fighting this asshole. Not to figure out why he's doing shit, how he's doing shit, or even about the fucking cameras that are supposedly watching us! Uh, I, uh... Boss, relax! He's been doing his best ever since you brought him all to the team! He's our resident detective, you know? Detective?! Oh, hell no! He's not a detective! He's just a goddamn failed writer who's playing private dick! I want you to find these assholes, not break down their every move and reasoning! Do you see my issue here? Look, I'm sorry. If I would have known about this sooner, I would have done something. Really, I would have. I'm doing my best with all this. In order to find him, we have to get into his head, figure out his motive and what his plan is. It all fills the bigger picture. You can't just look around everywhere in hopes of just randomly stumbling upon- <sighs> I don't want your goddamn excuses. Simply put, all you are is a human that I spared to solve my problem. If you can't even do the one job that you were tasked with doing, then what exactly is stopping me from putting a bullet in your head? Sir, stop! You don't really want to- SHUT UP! This has nothing to do with you! Kill him. He already told you how he truly feels about you. He wants you dead. He hates you. You can feel it. Doesn't it feel familiar? Doesn't he feel like an old man you ate? You killed someone like him already, so why not one more? Uh, what should we do now? I mean, we shouldn't stay here, right? It's kind of dangerous, at least right now. Huh? I agree. We should find a place to hide out. Uh, yeah, good plan. Well, 
There is one place we can stay. Oh, Blitzy! I'm so glad you're alright. Yeah. I heard about an explosion near IMP, and I began to fear the worst. But I'm so glad you're safe. Yeah, well, I'm fine. But my fucking building isn't. You sure it's not gonna be a problem with us staying here for a bit? It was kinda short notice. Knowing how my dad is, he'd be absolutely enthralled with having him so close. Besides, I heard about what happened. I should be the one asking if you all are okay. Oh, we're fine. It'll take more than that to do us in. Plus, Zag and Luna were able to get us out of there before the place went BOOM! The most we got was a little ringing in our ears. Speaking of Zack, is he okay? He looks awful. Blitz went and said some shit to him and he's taking it hard. I think he's blaming himself for what happened. Oh no. Hold on a second. I'll go talk to him. Hey, Zack. Fun day today, right? I mean, pretty cool how you used that motorcycle to get around. I didn't know you could ride one. You're probably someone who pisses loud as fuck, which I think that's, uh, pretty cool. Heh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, mind telling Stolas the rundown on things? I've gotta get going. Where are you headed? To Stolas' study. I'm hoping that I can figure something out if I have some quiet. After all, I still have a job to do. What am I doing? Seems to me like you're wasting time. As if I didn't have enough shit to deal with, here comes someone who spouts literally nothing but bullshit. Oh, come now. You know that I'm right. You heard what that little imp said. He only sees you as an object, someone who was only alive to pull him out of the shit he's found himself in. A tool would be better term for you. And yet you're so trustworthy. You'll see. Soon, one of them is going to hurt you. In fact, as far as you know, one of them already has. Perhaps you just haven't seen it yet. I've had it up to here with you. Just shut the hell up and get lost. I have work I need to do. I hope there is enough food for you all. If not, I can make some more. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about there not being enough. Ah, yes. Quite. Speaking of him, where is that human mystery solver? Uh, oh, he said he was going to work in your study. He looked to be kind of down, too. All the color in his eyes were all dull. To be honest, I'm a little worried about him. Ah, I'm sure he's fine. No point in worrying about him anyway. If anything, he should be happy he isn't dead yet. I mean, honestly, kid's got a death wish with how badly he fucked up. Blitz. With any luck, he'll figure this out without any more- Shut. Up. You don't want me to come over there and kick your ass. Looney, remember who it is you're talking to. I'm still your dad, remember? First of all, you're only my dad on paper. Secondly, I'm not gonna have you badmouth Zack like this, especially after everything he's done for you, me, and everyone else. Oh boy, this won't be good. Done for us? He got our business blown up. Stop talking about him as if he's some sort of good guy. Don't you remember that he was a target at first? All of our targets are shitheads who have fucked others over. There's nothing special or different or dazzling about him! Just because he was a potential hit doesn't mean that he's the same as the others! Zack is not like them! If he was, would he have put himself into danger for us? These guys aren't just a bunch of thugs! They're calculated, frightening assholes! And yet he swallowed his fear and threw himself into danger the first moment he could! Would he still be working on trying to stop these assholes even after- 
after you started shouting out that bullshit to him? You threatened to kill him, and yet he's still trying to help your punk ass! He even had every opportunity to kill both of us while we were sleeping, ever since we first brought him here! What? The hell do you mean by that? He's been living in my closet the whole time! He was... What?! Yeah, that's right! We even slept in the same bed together and you were none the wiser! I knew it! Millie, it, shush! That son of a... Hold on. Back up a few moments. Blitz, you threatened him?! Excuse me? Gah, so what if I did? Look, Luna, you're obviously all in your usual mood or whatever. That dumbass piece of shit has no place here. Not anymore. So, he has a choice. He can either be sent back to his home where he can live out his pathetic hermit life, or he can be killed and filled with holes in his body. He can take his pit. I won't let you. Huh? I won't let you hurt him. Ooh. Uh, very funny, Looney Tooney. You're probably just a little overwhelmed with emotions right now. Once you've gotten something in your belly, then you'll surely be good as- Does it look like I'm joking?! Zack isn't just some human, you asshole! He's more than that! Even when I tried to kill him the day we met, he still did whatever he could to save me! He took a literal bullet for me! Even when my claws were mere inches away from tearing his throat out! He treated me like a person! Like maybe, just maybe, there's nothing wrong with who I am! That's why I'm gonna do the same for him! I will protect him, even from you if necessary! So read my lips very carefully! Leave him alone! And if you so much as touch a single hair on his head, I'll make sure you're never able to dick down Mr. Birdass over there ever again! <clears throat> Would you mind giving me and Blitz some privacy, everyone? I need to have a word with him. As you wish, Your Majesty. Let's go. Right behind you! Don't leave without me. Let's talk. About what? There's nothing to talk about. Blitz, look at me when I'm talking to you. You know this has nothing to do with your building. So what is it? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're not angry about your building. In fact, you're not angry at all. I can tell. You're still shaking from when you got here. Haven't you ever heard of trembling with rage? No, not rage, but fear. You're afraid. And I already know of what. You're afraid of putting him in a situation where he'll lose his life. <sighs> You've grown attached to him, akin to how we have gotten attached to him. All of us desire to see him succeed, to live, and you are afraid that you've branded him for death. He's not one to stop, nor to give up, and because of that you want him to leave as quickly as possible, right? <sighs> kid's a good guy. I may not look it, but I do worry about my employees' safety. Zack's not like us, though. Mox, Mill, hell, even Luna. We've all dealt with way more than he has. He has promise, but he's just... He's not exactly so different from us. Huh? Zack has felt pain similar to all of us. Even as a human, he's done things a demon can do. What exactly do you mean? Come with me. There's so much you need to learn about him. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! What a fantastic situation. Huh? <clears throat> it's open. You can come in. Uh, hey, uh, I thought you'd be hungry, so I got you something. You weren't at dinner, so I got kinda worried. Oh, thanks, Luna. Sorry, I've just been working a bit. Things aren't gonna figure themselves out, you know? <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> uh, I feel like shit, too. It'll be okay, though. Nothing I can't handle. Hey, 
Don't take what Blitz said to heart, all right? He's just pissy because his walls got blown. That could be taken out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, but seriously, I'm sure that he's just stressed. He can get that way sometimes. I know that he sees just how much you're doing for us, and I can't thank you enough. I don't know. What if what he said was true? I mean, with how long I've been here, you would have thought I'd have figured something out. <laughs> Investigator. Just a failed writer. I can't do this kind of work. Hell, I'm the one that created a mystery. I'm nothing but a fucking murderer. Who am I to think that I can do any good for anyone? That's not true. With how things are looking, I feel like it'd just be better if I had left. Kept myself from making things worse for you guys. But even if I did, it's not like I could go back to living a normal life. I mean, look at me! I'm a human with demon powers! I'd basically be an outcast! A freak! Stop it. In the end, it would have been better if you had just let me bleed out back there. Besides, it wouldn't have been a big deal if I did. It's not like anyone would have mourned- <clears throat> Huh? Don't you ever say that shit again. Luna? I won't just stand there and listen to you talk shit about yourself like that. You deserve to live. You never deserved anything like this, and yet you are still doing everything you can to help us. To help me. You have to keep going, Zack. You can't stop. You can't just give up on yourself. Even if you think about doing that, I'll kick your ass and bring you right back. Luna? But why? B because I... I... I care about you, damn it! I care about you! You... I don't give a fuck who said what or how you feel about yourself. Just please, please don't give up. I... I promise. I'll make sure not to. And I... care about you, too.
Wait, hold on. Did we just... Wait, we definitely did, didn't we? Yeah, we did all right. It wasn't bad, right? Th 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 of course not! I didn't think that a kiss would feel like that. It, it felt great, to be honest. A kiss? Who kissed who? Nothing! No one! Don't worry about it! Uh, uh, next time on Hell of a Boss, the human and the hellhound, the darkest secret reveals itself. Death to the soul. The what reveals the what now? That's horrifying. Hopefully nothing too bad happens. Right? <laughs>